Hi, this is Jessica DeMassa, and that's Matthew Holtz, and welcome to this episode of Health in 2.00. We're in hurry-up mode, because someone has a conference call in 15 minutes, so no witty banter, Mr. Holtz. Let's just jump right in and do this. We answer all of your questions about health and technology in just two minutes. Matthew, do you have your timer ready? Because there is not a moment to spare here. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> All right, so we haven't heard your take on the pill pack acquisition by Amazon. What's the big deal here? Okay, so it is a pretty big deal, and it did terrify the life out of the stock market and the shareholders of CVS and uh, Walgreens. I actually bought some Walgreens stocks. I thought it was such a, such a deal at that time. You're the kiss um, of death. Yeah, well, we'll see. So, uh, and the other point is that pill pack, by the way, came together at a uh, hackathon, MIT Hacking Medicine's first hackathon that Health 2.0 funded and helped organize. So they owe us at least five or 10% of their billion dollars. So Amazon bought them after Walmart said they were going to buy them. Yeah, okay, I probably won't get that. Um, and it really is a question of what next is Amazon going to do instead of getting that physical last mile, last few inches to help people uh, deal with their prescription drugs. First thing they've done in the prescription world, terrifying the life out of everybody else, I suspect they will come further and surround it with some compliance tools and some monitoring tools, some other stuff, because just having that part isn't enough, but it's definitely a good start. Very frightening and well done, uh, Elliot and his team at PillPack on the exit. Okay, what about GE Health? Quietly spinning out from the mothership into its own company. Big news G or not? GE has been a disaster for a long, long time, ever since the, the, uh, you know, since the, the, the meltdown in, in 2008 to nine, uh, because they were basically a financing company um, the, some parts of the health system part have been very successful, the imaging notably and some of the, the you know, some of the, the biotech reagency type stuff and diagnostics and a lot of it's been a disaster for a long time like the uh, EMR side of the business, although they actually spun a part of that off last month, so it doesn't surprise me. The real big question is why couldn't Lisa soon and save them? Oh, that's a big question. The other question is why won't they sponsor us? But we we pretty much answered that. Okay, now special report on special reports. Busy sponsoring uh, health tectonics. Gone. My special report on special reports. We've got the two mid-year reports out. We've got Rock Health and Startup Health both reporting on deals in digital health. So Rock Health, I'm still talking. I'm still talking, so you can finish. That's my question. Okay, so Rock Health is saying it was like 193 deals they looked at, and it was what 3.4 just under last year. Startup Health is looking at global deals. They're saying six six billion, 414 deals. Is this good news? Is this bad news? And then the other thing that was in there is that the number the number of deals that involved seed round. Um, funding are down 24 percent. So what are the implications of all of this? Uh, implications. Make sense of this first. I wish the Please. guy next door had <laughs> on his leaf blower, but so two, you know, two things to be worth mentioning. One is that those two have been disagreeing forever about their definition of what a health tech deal is and you know they have come up with different numbers. I happen to know some of the insider numbers on startup health because I asked them for a bunch of them. I'm a little surprised about how few companies they're tracking for the number of deals that they come up with seems to me that they are missing a bunch and that, that everyone therefore is missing some stuff. Probably there's more stuff going on in Asia than we're, missing, than we're seeing and maybe even some more stuff in the US that Rock Health isn't seeing. So the number is probably bigger overall, but both those numbers are quite a bit up on last year. We're going to end up if, you know, Startup Health, you know, either we're sort of six to seven from, from Rock Health and maybe to eight and then Startup's going to be at, you know, 12, 13, 14 billion, still huge numbers. So the answer is there is still a lot of money around. There's still a lot of money available for investment in digital health, and we still don't have the exits, the IPOs. We have a couple of big exits, you know, pullbacks and exit, for sure. We have a couple of M&A exits. We are not having the IPOs. Um, we'll see what happens there, whether there are any folks. By the way, we just had 300 million more going to American Well just this past week, so a ton more activity in the later stage stuff. The seed stuff is suffering. The main reason the seed stuff is suffering is not because there aren't good seed companies and not because the good companies aren't getting client deals. The main reason is that the big venture funds have got so much money that it doesn't make any sense to put little numbers in. And there hasn't really been the explosion of ecosystem to take over. So that to me is why 
things are not doing as well on the seed side. I think that the market will shake that up, will help shake that out. And actually, I'm doing a bit of work, work in Smack Health to try and help figure that out too. But uh, you know, interesting numbers. Nobody agrees. Their numbers are always wrong, but the direction shows that things are still going in terms of investment in the overall space. Well, that'll be interesting. So we'd love to hear what you guys think out there. Feel, feel free to put your um, comments on the, on the seed round and whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing that the money is not going into those companies. If it's stifling innovation or is it helping these other companies gain more traction? We'd love to hear what you guys think. So feel free on, on any one of the tweets or on the healthcare blog where this is posted, posted to reply in the comments there. We'd love to hear what you guys are, what your thoughts are. Um, Matthew, where are you at? You're in Lake Tahoe, is that right? I'm in Lake Tahoe, my fancy new place. Right over there, that's the head wall at school. You could ski down it in a uh, winter's day, but there's only a patch of snow up there. I did hike most of the way up it yesterday with awesome. kids and a 15-year-old dog. It nearly killed all of concerned. But we survived. <laughs> the Chateau Health 2.0. We love it. It's beautiful. And I'm here in Chicago where everything fabulous out of healthcare comes from. The AMA, hymns, and this girl. <laughs> so catch the rest of our episodes health in 2.0 you can look for us on youtube please subscribe to our channel or always you can find them on the healthcare blog which is the healthcareblog.com i'm jessica damasa that's matthew holt thanks so much for joining us for this episode of health in 2.0 see you soon